Group Link's Everything Help Desk would like to present the iPhone Android Interface. To use the Android or iPhone interface, simply open a browser on your phone and enter your organization's Help Desk URL. This will open the Everything Help Desk login page. Simply log in using your username and password. I am going to log in as a manager. Once you have logged in, the My Ticket screen will appear showing all of the tabs that would appear on your My Ticket screen on your computer. To view the tickets in a tab, simply touch the tab. To sort the tickets in the tab, simply touch the drop To sort the tickets in the tab, simply touch the drop down. You can sort the tickets by priority, ID, contact, created date, modified date and location. I will choose sort by ID. When you have chosen how to sort your tickets, simply touch the Done button. As you can see, all of the tickets are now listed by ID number. To open a specific ticket, simply touch the ticket and it will open. From here you can see the contact information of the person who has submitted the ticket. If you would like to change the contact information of a ticket, simply touch the contact information drop down. From here you may choose any contact you wish. When you have chosen the correct contact, touch the Done button. If the contact has a phone number attached to their name, you may touch the phone button here and call the contact directly from the ticket. You may also send the contact an email by touching the email button. The next section is the ticket info section. You can change the priority, status, or estimated completion date. When selecting an estimated completion date or any other date filled using the iPhone or Android interface, a date selection will appear. Simply scroll to your desired date. The next section on the ticket will show more ticket information. The location, group, category, category option, assigned to, as well as any un other information that has been added to this ticket including custom fields. Below the ticket information is the subject of the ticket as well as the note. To change any of the information, simply touch in the text box and type using your iPhone or Android keypad. When you have made any desired changes, touch the Save Changes button. This will show a Save Successful sign, indicating that your changes have been saved. To view the history comments of a ticket, simply touch the History Comments button at the bottom of the ticket. This will open all history comments that have been made on the ticket. From here, you may also add a comment. You also have the options to record a received phone call or a placed phone call. If you do not desire to do any of these options, touch the Cancel button. I am going to add a comment that this issue is being resolved. After you have entered your desired information, you have the option to notify the technician or the user or CC anyone else in your organization that would need to see this information. When you have entered all of the information, touch the Save Changes button. As you can see, the comment has now been saved. To return to the My Ticket screen, simply touch the Home icon in the upper left hand corner. From the My Ticket screen, you can also create a new ticket by touching the Create New Ticket button. Here you would fill out all of the information as you would on a regular Help Desk ticket. Again, you can change the contact information by selecting the Contact Information drop-down and selecting the desired contact. Select your priority, status, and estimated completion date if you wish. The flow of the ticket will appear as it would on a regular help desk ticket. Select your location, your group, category, and category option, as well as the assignment. Scroll down and fill in any custom fields that may be required. Include your subject and your note. 
When you have entered all of the information, touch the Save Changes button. A Save Successful sign will then appear. To view all of the tickets that you are the contact of, simply touch the Home icon to return to the My Ticket screen and select the Owned by Me tab. Here you will be able to view all of the tickets that are owned by you. When you are finished using the iPhone or Android interface, simply touch the Sign Out button in the upper right hand corner. This concludes the Everything Help Desk iPhone and Android interface demonstration.